hello family god bless you and welcome to my youtube channel in the name of the lord jesus christ if you're new to this channel my name is samuel e molombe and i welcome you heartily to this prophetic channel god is about to speak to you amazingly there is going to be a strong word that is coming to you and i want you to listen to it open your spirit and receive this word today in jesus name if you are new to the channel, please kindly subscribe. Be a part of our Christian community. It's amazing in here. Those of you already subscribed, thank you so much for being a part of this channel. God bless you. The Lord says that you are too smart. You are too smart. You see through their mind games. Someone is playing mind games with you. Someone is trying to manipulate you into believing in something different from what the Lord has spoken to you. You see, the enemy is worried about the spoken word of oh God. I need you to listen to this very carefully. This is, this is very important. Please. And I share a very powerful secret at the end of the video. And I need you to be there to listen to that. The enemy is not after your body. Okay? The enemy doesn't care about how you look, how your color. He says, oh, my, my, the tone of my skin is, oh no. He cares about the spoken word. As a matter of fact, listen to this. If you're traveling down the road and you do not meet Satan, demons, attacks, manipulation, Maybe you are traveling with him. The moment your destination opposes his, he will come after you. Or he will come after you. So if everything is too smooth, maybe you are in the same camp as he. So you have to check yourself. Whoa, am I in the path? Because if God says that you're going to be with this person, something is going to come to make sure that it doesn't happen right so the the devil is going to send people who can come and man, try to manipulate you into believing that what god has said about you is not true remember this it may not be today it may not be tomorrow but it will be definitely somebody will come around to try to play mind games on you to try to manipulate the the, the the word of god say are you really sure god said is this person are you really sure god wants you to be here are you really sure you're even listening to god are you not running mad is there something not wrong with you you're hearing voices maybe or maybe not it could be a parent it could be a boss it could be anybody right but you have to understand that this is a mind game. Satan wants you to be out of where God has kept you. Because your help in life is connected to where God has planted you. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. Your help in life is connected to where God has planted you. Your help, the people, the resources... It's going to flow through the channel of the people that God has planted in your life. So you must be very careful against the, the The Bible says that we should not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. He has devices. <laughs> he has many different games that he plays. And you have, you have got to outsmart him. But God is saying he's confident in the fact that you are smarter. You're smarter because you know the word of God. You're smarter because you connected yourself with people that can pray with you and tell you exactly what God is saying concerning that situation. You're smarter because you're connected on this platform. You're smarter because you have me as a prayer warrior, as an intercessor for you, as a friend, as a brother to you. You're smart because you are, you are seeking hard after God. You want to do what God wants you to do when he wants you to do it. That's why you're smarter. Hallelujah. I can keep going on and on and on. Now, this is, this, is, this, is, this is the key. This is the key. This is the key. When the devil starts playing mind games with you, you lose your peace. So one of the greatest pointers to the will of God is peace. Do you feel peace? Are you happy? Anything you buy with your peace is too expensive. Don't go that route. 
anything that you buy with your peace is too expensive. You don't want to go that route. I pray that God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray that God keep you. May he cause his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. Give you peace. In Jesus' name. Do you receive the word with gladness? I love you. And don't forget to subscribe on the channel. Share the video. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this prophetic word and how it affects you. I love you so much. Shalom.